My introduction to Bank Street began about 34 years ago, long before I was married or had children. A colleague who was a Bank Street trustee persuaded me to attend an event at the school that featured a similar panel of eighth grade students. I was literally stunned by their critical thinking skills, their intellectual curiosity, their commitment to social justice, their poise and confidence, and most of all, their genuine excitement about learning. I left knowing, while it may have been too late for me to benefit from a Bank Street education, I was determined that my children, when I had them, would attend Bank Street. They both did, and the rest, as they say, is history. So now it's my pleasure to welcome Jose and our five eighth graders to the stage. Good evening, as Yolanda said, my name is Jose Guzman, and I'm the math science coordinator at Bank Street School for Children. Um, before I introduce the panel of students and before we open this up for question and answers, um, I want to point out that there are questions, there, there are question cards on your tables. And while we have a few questions that are already prepared for our students, feel free to write a question that you'd like to ask, pass it along to the ushers, and we'll answer as many of those as we can get to. I expect that you're going to get a good sense of what it means to be a student at Bank Street um, once you hear from our students. But I first want to speak briefly about what I think is so special about the Bank Street education. One of the things that's interesting about math and science is that much of the knowledge that is taught in middle school and in elementary school is knowledge that has been around for a long time. A uh, great many textbooks have been written and described this knowledge and I'm sure you can remember sitting in your classes when you were in middle school and uh, elementary school, even high school, and um, listening to a lecture, or possibly really working through a book so that you can acquire that knowledge. At Bank Street, we of course value this mode of learning, but we try to, a different approach. We try to focus on something that's a bit different. Um, we know that children learn best through investigating relevant questions and developing knowledge collaboratively. Our students make discoveries together and construct understanding as a community of learners. And you'll see a slideshow presentation here of them involved in this. The knowledge that they gain from this inquiry process is durable and is able to be applied to other topics as well, within school and outside of school in the rest of the world. This is what's special about Bank Street. We ask questions that inspire our students to be curious about the world and push them to investigate further, to understand more. Because we understand that they need to bring themselves into the fold of learning. So that was my perspective, but let's hear what the students have to say. Um, I'd like to introduce to your, our students to you. We have Isabel Corral, we have Ami Morrison, Ava Andrews, Emily Patel, and Sam Harris. <laughs> and we're going to open up with the first question here. We're going to take you back in time a little bit to your earlier years. Can you describe what a science lesson might have looked like when you were in the younger years, let's say second grade, or you can pick a different grade? Um. Um, so when we were in second grade and we were younger, we learned a lot about the landscape of Manhattan, um, the Native American tribes that lived here, and we did a lot of work on the tributaries that led into the Hudson River and how the river worked. So we made clay models that were based on the landscape of Manhattan, and we would pour water from plastic cups and it would go down the mountain and we would see how the river worked and that gave us a really good understanding of it um, because we couldn't take boats down the actual river and we got a visualization right in front of us. Ava? Um, well, something that really sets the way that makes you does for like younger kids is that we kind of figured out a way to connect science with our daily lives, like Ami was saying, that how we 
connected the Hudson River with like, you know, the historical value of the Hudson River and also like, you know, the current kind of makeup of the Hudson River. So we really got an understanding from both a social point of view and also a scientific point of view. Okay. Sam, do you want to add I just want to add on to what Ava and Ami have already said, but second grade science was mostly called Hudson River Studies because that's what it mostly was. It was connected to our social studies curriculum, which is much about the Lenape tribes. Uh, we took trips to the Hudson River to study what it looked like. Uh, we made giant models, as Ami said. Um, and it was a lot of fun. We did a fish dissection uh, just so we could see what animal life in the Hudson River might have looked like. Okay, I'm gonna ask another question. Um, climate change is such an important topic to get today. How have you learned about climate change? Have you investigated it as a social justice issue? Uh, Emily. Um, well, right now we're doing a unit on mock Congress and my classroom is the Senate. So um, we're trying to pass a bill um, to help improve the state of California right now um, as it's going through a drought. So um, we've talked a lot about climate change in that setting. Um, and also in science class, we also talk about it a lot. If anyone has questions, Dave, our teacher, always answers those. So that's. Does anybody want to answer that? Sam? Well, it's been a big part of the curriculum, mm -hmm. uh, most of the upper schools. Sixth grade science was mostly focused on climate change. We had units that we did tests to prove climate change. Um, we had many lessons on it. I, myself, this year went to the climate change march in September. Uh, which a lot of other Bank Street people did. Um, but it's a very big issue at Bank Street and they teach us quite a bit about it. Thank you. I think we're going to this next question. Um, how have you been required to take on the perspective of others during your time at Bank Street? Do you think this has been an important part of your learning experience? Isabel? Um, so I remember uh, last year in seventh grade, we um, had a role play of a special session of Congress. Um, I think it took place in early, mid to mid um, 1800s. And we were assigned roles. I was assigned the role of Henry Clay, who did not really believe, who was not really an abolitionist, but was not really completely pro-slavery. He just sort of believed that the, in just to keep the union together. And um, I didn't personally, like, I had stronger beliefs than he did, but I had to keep my personal beliefs out of it and argue for the point of view that I was supposed to, which was very helpful for me to see all different sides of um, people, all different views of people at that time, which was really helpful. Emily. Um, well, in fifth grade, we did a debate um, on who was the best leader of China in the past. Um, so I was um, on the Deng Xiaoping team, and I was very, I guess, biased towards that team. I thought that he was the best leader, but after the um, debate went on, um, Confucius won, but, um, <laughs> so that was sad, but um, actually runner-up was, um, <coughs> the runner-up was Mao Zedong, um, <laughs> which um, I think is interesting because we all really disliked him at first, um, but I think that for me, I, had, I listened to um, a fellow classmate who was arguing for him, and I actually thought, wow, he's making a really good point, and I actually voted for Mao Zedong instead of Deng Xiaoping, so that was interesting. <laughs> Ami, do you want to add to that? Yeah, I mean, from the start of Bank Street, we've uh, incorporated civil rights into our curriculum, and every year um, I've been challenged with um, kind of comprehending the struggle of the people during the civil rights and I was not alive at that time and I can't even begin to understand what it felt like but I've been put into the situation where I have to understand what they're feeling and write about it and speak about it and it's been challenging but it's also been very, it's been great. Okay, we're going to ask another question. I know that Bank Street education emphasizes community and partnerships. What does that look like in the classroom, science classroom, any classroom? Yes, Sam. Well, all our science labs are done in pairs of two or three, so everyone can be watching something at once. 
Uh, many humanities lessons, social studies literature are the same way. Uh, sometimes we discuss things in groups, we're given book groups uh, in early years. Um, we're currently in mock Congress, as um, I think Emily yeah. said. Uh, and we mostly caucus a lot. So, and then we haven't met in committees yet, but we will soon. Um, but it's a lot of group work and it's a lot of working with other people. Like, very co op. You have to be very cooperative to be a Bank Street student um, because it's sometimes hard to be patient with other people. Um, <laughs> but it's a great learning experience and it's a great way to learn. Ava. Yeah, well, Bank Street really does um, like stress the whole like, learning from your peers as well as your teachers. So I'm going to talk about the mocks. Um, Congress again, so my class is mock Senate, and we're split up into Republicans and Democrats. And you know, it's very like the teachers kind of like overview it, but it's really student run that kind of whole project. And so you're really like you know debating with the Republicans in the classroom, like Democrats, and like you know you're really trying to you know structure this whole thing that's like really challenging, but also it's really great to be able to hear your fellow classmates' ideas and really just like learning. It's really kind of a big. Thing that I think make sure it takes very seriously. Thank you. Isabel. Um, just to add on, uh, so another thing that we do is um, every year we have a science expo. So, every, so um, groups of like three or so people um, research a topic and present it at, um, sci at science expo. Um, and I guess that requires a lot of group work and group cooperation to put it all together and present it. So I think it's a very, it's a good um, combination of all the different things that were taught at Bank Street. Thank you. So w I think we have time for one last question. Okay, one la the last question. If you had to describe one defining moment from Bank Street education, from your Bank Street education, this is a big question, what would it be and why? Emily, why don't you start us off? Um, well, there are so many moments that I could choose from, but I think that this year um, I had some troubles with another student. Um, we just didn't really get along very well, and I went and talked to my teachers, and they they really helped me through it. They talked um, with this other student. We kind of found some common ground, and they, they really helped me through the entire thing, and I think that that's an amazing thing about Bank Street, that your teachers aren't only there for you academically, but they're there for you socially, um, and you can tell that they really want to help you, and I think that that's so unique to Bank Street, and I'm just so grateful to have such amazing teachers. Ava? Um, well, mine's going a little further back. It was in fourth grade. So before fourth grade, I was kind of a rebellious child, I guess you could say. And um, the whole rules thing, I felt, didn't really apply to me. So um, I remember I had this teacher, and she was so nice. I loved her so much. And she went on maternity leave about like halfway through the year. And I was so sad that she left that I like made like a vow that I was going to be like, the best student I could possibly be. So when she came back, she would see like how great I was. So that kind of just stuck with me throughout like the rest of my banking career. But that was definitely a defining moment. Sam. Well, mine. I mean, like Emily said, there are so many to choose from. But I feel like for me, it's kind of still going on, and it's going to be finished by the end of this week. But um, well, long story, but every year the 8th grade does a musical, which I've seen for the past 10 years at Bank Street, and I've always been looking forward to it, and now it's Wednesday and Thursday, and I'm very scared. Um, but it's also very exciting, it's a lot of group work, it's different than pretty much anything we've ever done before, and it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of stress, but... It's a great process, and I, it'll pay off. Yeah. <laughs> Isabel, um, uh, I think one of the defining moments for me um, during my time at Bank Street was earlier this year we did um, a mock Supreme Court, and we were um, given a hypothetical case about um, like an issue 
um, I think the, the one that uh, really stuck with me was an issue about the Fourth Amendment. And we were, um, actually, sorry, this one was about the First Amendment. Um, we were put into uh, two lawyer, groups of lawyers, and certain people are, were assigned as justices. And um, I was assigned leader of my lawyer group, and I had to um, arrange like activities for my group to um, engage in to learn the case really well, learn the like the fourth, like the amendment really well, and find arguments and precedent cases to reference. And it was overall just a great experience for me in terms of public speaking and leadership and just working together with everyone. It was really great. Thank you. Um, All right, um, last, last one. I think my defining moment at Bank Street was in third grade. We had a teacher named Michael Cook. He, um, yeah. <laughs> he was an incredible math teacher, and he was not our primary teacher. He'd come in for certain math classes and just teach us some new things. And I remember one time he came in and he taught us this trick where someone would give you a few numbers and you do some things with your calculator or in your head or however you want to do it and then you guess one of the numbers that they hadn't told you and it worked and <laughs> <laughs> and I, I realized learning could be pretty cool sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and I guess just like learning that and then continuing at Bank Street till through, through the end and having the mindset of wanting to learn in each class and learning new things was really great and it was great to be able to learn that lesson and that was a defining moment for me at Bank Street. Thank you guys. Great time. Thank you. Let's give them a big hand. Now you see why we're all so passionate about a Bank Street education. Didn't I tell you that would be something special? They're terrific.